Hello and welcome back to brainstemschool.com and we are going to round out this week of lessons with a discussion of relational operators and boolean or logical operators. In this lesson we're going to focus on the immediate window, the interactive window because I can demonstrate all the different cases that way. So the relational operators are simple. They just judge the relationship of two things, usually two numbers. So you already know them, less than, greater than, equal to, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or not equal to. Let's look at simple examples of each of them. Now, as you know, in the interactive window, if I give it a value, it gives me the value right back. So if I were to say 8, it'll say 8 because, well, 8 is 8. If I were to say 5 plus 5, it tells me 10. I give it a value, it gives me the value back. So if I were to say 4 is less than 6, that is a statement. It's a relational statement, and the value of that statement is true. However, if I were to say 6 is less than 4, the value of that statement is false. It works with all kinds of values. 3.4 is less than 129.321. And it also works with variables. If a is 9 and b is 23, a is less than b. Notice how it doesn't matter if I put spaces between them. The answer is still the same. And of course, everything works as you'd expect it to work. a is less than b, a is greater than b, a is less than or equal to b, a is greater than or equal to B, and so forth. Now let's go to our script window, and we'll use some of these relational expressions in an if statement. So if A is 9 and B is 10, I can say if A is less than B, print A is less than B. And then when I run it, very obviously the, res the resulting output is that A is less than B. A is equal to B. Notice when I run it this time we do not see any output and that's of course because A is not equal to B. Therefore the conditional expression is false. We can also combine conditional expressions by using what are called Boolean or logical operators. The three logical operators are AND, OR, and NOT. In Python, you could just use the words AND, OR, and NOT, though in other languages there are symbols. AND will only be true if both cases are true. So just to demonstrate the point, we're going to use literals. 1 is less than 2. That's true. 3 is less than 2. That's false. So if I were to say 1 is less than 2 and 3 is less than 2, what do you think the result would be? Pause for thinking. False. It's false because even though half of the expression is true, the and needs both sides of the expression to be true. 1 is less than 2, or 3 is less than 2, that will give us true. Because in the case of or, all we need is one of the two sides to be true. Furthermore, we can apply not with parentheses to give us the opposite result. One is less than true. 1 is less than 2, which is true, the result of that gets negated by the not. So that's your relational operators and your Boolean operators in a nutshell. In this table, we're going to demonstrate all the different cases.
It's called a truth table. A and B can represent any other expression. So you can nest expressions within expressions. You can nest relational expressions within Boolean expressions, Boolean expressions within Boolean expressions, and so forth. So if A and B are false, the result will be false. If A is false but B is true, the result of A and B is false. If A is true and B is false, the result will be false. And finally, if both A and B are true, the result is true. Now with the OR Boolean expression, it is not the opposite of AND. Because notice that it is true if either or both A and B are true. Not A. It's just going to be the opposite of A. And not B is going to be the opposite of, A, of B. Head over to brainstemschool.com, download the ebook if you haven't already, and thank you for your attention. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, download the ebook, follow the blog, and have a great day.